So hi everyone, this is Brenda Live presenting my industry placement presentation. My printed name is Yuan Chu Lai, Y-U-N-C-H-U, and my student number is 3A6AOT. So let's get started. So before we go straight into the topic, here's some quick background of the company that I used to work in. So the name of the um, is a restaurant. So the name of the restaurant is Su Hang. And the type of cuisine is Chinese Shanghai cuisine. And it has a total of six branches around Taiwan. And the, the one that I used to work in is located in the department store in Taichung, which Taichung is um, in the middle of Taiwan. So about the meat in Suhang. So my duration of the placement was from December 2011 till the end of June in 2012 which is roughly about seven months. My position was an assistant wedding planner. So how did I get this job? And why did I choose? I found it on a job seeking website. Before that, I was looking for a job like assistant because you know I didn't have a lot of experiences towards planning events or weddings and stuff like that. So as an assistant, it really helps for me to learn more, um, learn more and you know, to see more things without having the experience. So then I found this job on the job seeking website and I sent my resume and then um, after a few weeks I got replied for an interview from the manager. I was really nervous but at the same time really excited. And why did I choose it? Because it's something that I've never done before and also um, my family owns a wedding boutique, which I thought it, it was related to my family business. And as an assistant, I don't have to have the experiences to get this job. But at the same time, as I can still learn new things and learning the things that I didn't know stuff like that, and getting more experiences. So the best part is it's related to my subject because I study in event management and I really hoping to find a job that's related to events. So what I what do I do for work? Um, daily. So I normally making reservations at the front desk, seating customers, check if there's any special order needs to send to the chefs, and designing the project design. I will show you some of the like the flyers and the menus that I've designed. So on the bank wedding banquet date. Prior to the wedding, um, we need to prepare all the essentials such as a menu or a table number cards or table allocation maps, etc. And there are more something more like um, the flower for the tables and you know confirming with the customers. On the extra day, I was in charge of the voice and light control. So you know I'll be at the control room and um, controlling the music and lights. Also assisting the wedding host if he if he or she needs anything. Also helping the wedding with decorations. You know, things that I'll show you some of the pictures that um, about the decorations later. These was one some of the menus that I've designed for the restaurant and those two are the flyers. So these are more flyers and vouchers, the suitability of the placement. So um, the first I need to get on track really fast. So I always put a lot of efforts in with my managers or my supervisor teaching me something new. I always take notes most of the time and when, my, um, you know, when she is explaining something to me. So because I just want the manager to see what I could actually do and so I stay on focus most of the time. Plus it, it was kind of busy when I first start off. And the next one is, I thought the experience throughout was really enjoyable. Um, because I learned, I made a lot of friends and also I learned so many things I've never done before. The third one was, um, I need to always get involved. Turn out these seven months, I got along with many people. And when there's something I can do to help out, I always I would always be happy to. For example, like designing, and or being a translator. Sometimes when there's foreign customers coming in, 
or photo taking for the new products. I don't get paid separately for those, but I was really enjoying the experience of doing those. Forgetfulness is something that I that stay in my personality for so long until I got this job. So at the first, I forgot to write down something when I am um, giving these special orders to the chefs. So then on the day of the banquet, there were no fish, you know, because chefs order fish prior to the day we, of use. Then after a few lessons, I forced myself to be more careful and always double check. Now um, there are no, no more such problems. <laughs> My manager can, design, can assign me as many jobs as he wants and I will still be completing them without forgetting them. So, before we go into the last topic of this presentation, here are some of the photos I want to show you guys what I took during work. So, this is what I say about decorations. On the left corners, there are flowers and you know, photo frames and photo albums of their wedding photography. On the bottom corner, this is how it looks like when all the tables are set up. Another one. So this is how it looks like outside the restaurant. So on the co on next to it, that was the front desk, which I spent most of my time in there. So this is the reservation book and the table allocation map. And yes, of course, we I did face a lot of difficulties to, throughout the seven months. And here are the two main ones that I choose for examples. So first one is getting opposite opinions and orders from the restaurant manager and the sales assistant manager. So just give them, give them a name. We just call the manager Andy and the sales assistant manager Jeffrey. <laughs> so these two guys, they just don't get along quite well. You know, they always have most of the time, they have different opinions. One day, Jeffrey came up to me and asked him, asked me to design a 500 voucher for him. However, a few weeks ago, I remember that during one of my um, conversations with Andy, he told me that it's unnecessary to have um, a 500 cash voucher when we already have a, a hundred ones. But then I didn't tell Jeffrey that Andy told, told me this because I thought that was super awkward. So then after talking to Jeffrey, I went to see Andy and ask about his permission and did he, did you know this and stuff like that. And then he said that he didn't know it and it was just Jeffrey's personal decision. Well, how did I overcome it? After that, I always ask about the manager's permission first because I believe that um, the man he's the manager and no matter what, I still have to get his permission first before anything is done. And I realized that it could be inappropriate for Jeffrey to give me any task that has not, he hasn't getting permission from the upper management. So the other example of the difficulties is that lack of team spirits between groups, between back of house and front of house, and between different segments in the kitchen and also at the front of house. So I'm sure these, this um, happens quite a lot in many people's career. There's always someone that don't want to cooperate. In a restaurant industry, you know, teamwork is something really important. How do I overcome? I would just try to do whatever is important first instead of being directly against someone who made the mistakes because that's pointless. So it's like someone's not doing their job properly, even give up doing their jobs. I would only um, go up to manager and tell him about the situation and ask for his help. And that's me with my supervisor, Amber, which, who is also the wedding planner. And that's Andy, the manager. On the left and that's me in my uniform so that's the end of the presentation i hope you enjoyed and thank you for your attention
you. Bye-bye.